Well, if you're running across this video, it's probably because you had the same dilemma that I once had. Yes, I can go back 20, maybe even 30 years from when I was a child in elementary school and we had those daily planners. My entire life, I grew up with a daily planner. So it was only natural that once I got into business and got into having a family, I wanted to have some type of digital planner. Now we know if you hand take your notes, you are more likely to remember that note process that idea and help develop that thought a little further than if you were if you're going to type it up. So when tablets came out, I saw the ingenuity behind the tablet, having a personal computer-like device in your hand wherever you were. Now I've had planner after planner that I've used over the last 15 years in business and really what happened was my wall behind my desk became a bookshelf of planners. I would page through planners every year looking at previous notes, project ideas, and just thoughts that I had. And what struggled with me is I would go out on the road and travel or have activities or functions that are away from the office, I couldn't successfully retain or pull those notes back up. So I thought to myself, wait a minute, wouldn't it be great if I could have all of my notes with me, all my planner notes with me, all my plans, all my project updates, all my goals, all my ideas right in the palm of my hand, how amazing then would that be? So when I first saw the iPad come out almost 10 years ago, I was thrilled by that idea. And over the course of several years, I worked at the iPad, I purchased stylus after stylus. Every time there was a new stylus, a new iPad with a better resolution, I was upgrading and updating using different notes and different templates to try to create my own digital planner. I used tons of digital planners that were out there, but I could not find anything that really kind of fit my need. So what did I do? I designed the Key to Success Planner. It's a planner I've been using now for three years, and I really think it's an instrument that's going to benefit you just as it's benefit me. Now, when I first designed this planner, it was designed to be on OneNote. And the reason why I gravitated towards OneNote it's an application that you can get for free. It works on Android devices, it works on ISO or Apple devices, and with the Samsung Note, you have a stylus on a cell phone, but now you also have styluses on tablets like the iPad or the Surface. So all around the OneNote functionality for me just made natural sense. I could go from different devices and still be able to access this planner. Now with 2020, I'm really excited to let you know that the planner will be available as a PDF notation. So this is gonna open up a whole slew of new applications that you're gonna be able to use. So let's jump into the planner. Let's look at why I think this is the key to your success. When I designed the planner, I wanted to have a few key elements and keep the design very simple. I wanted to have a monthly, weekly, and daily pages that were there and available for me. The daily pages are designed to keep you focused on action steps that will drive your success. Unlocking the key to your success starts each day with determining where you'll dedicate your most attention. This is commonly a project, developing a habit, building a relationship, or simply self-improvement. The next key is to indicate the three most important assignments that will drive home your goals. We call these the three keys. The daily pages provide you with a task list, a timeline of your day, a note section, important calls, and opportunities in front of you. We will uncover how to use this, so make sure to subscribe to our page and hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, because throughout the year, we're gonna dive into every one of these elements to learn a little bit more. The monthly pages have been developed to keep in mind the important things in your life. Through the year, you will make big plans. Events like projects, travel, personal time can even push us off track unless we plan for them. The monthly pages are a tool for you to use frequently as you set your milestones for success. Understanding where your big commitments are in your month-to-month -month basis will help you meet reasonable timelines and set expectations to reach your goals. The weekly planning page was really designed to be kind of that landing page of how you get your week started. I wanted to focus on what you accomplished in the previous week because that's important to understand. As we make accomplishments, we should be able to reflect on them and help determine how we move forward. The unfinished business section may seem a little negative, but there's constantly gonna be projects or activities that are gonna to continue to roll forward in our plans from week to week. It's important to identify those and put those in your weekly plan each and every week as you move forward. 
Now, when we look at planner pages, it's always important to consider the things that sometimes we don't necessarily take an account for. And those are the things that take your attention away from your goals. I wanted to indicate those each and every week so you could put those down further on your list or simply close the door on them as you move forward. Now we all need self-improvement and self-improvement should be something that happens each and every day. Weekly, you should reflect on the things that you wanna improve on. Maybe it's growing your habits, maybe it's getting more involved in the community, or maybe it's finding more time for your own self-development or having a better relationship with friends and family or just simply growing on your career. Now, what would a plan be without new opportunities? And that was something that I felt was very important. We need to look at those opportunities that we have each and every week, identify those, and then make plans to execute them. So in this section, we're definitely identifying those new opportunities, the things that are gonna make a difference, and planning those ahead in your week are gonna help you execute those goals that you have in mind. And every opportunity, every connection we make, any time that we try to establish or finish some business, there's always connections. And to help defining those connections, those new connections, and figuring out where they fit in your weekly plans are very important. Once we get past the review portion of the weekly plan, we have the success sketch board. This allows you to kind of just doodle, make notes, wireframe your ideas, and brain map your success in your plan for the week. When we move over to the right column of the page, this is really where we start to develop those good habits of making plans that we can execute. The planning board is simply your priorities. What are the things that you wanna focus on first? Those are the big ideas. Below the planning board is the projects area of the weekly plan. This is a space where you can indicate the projects that are on your plate, make some notes about some of the tasks, executables, or things that you need to deliver on as part of your plan this week. So that is the weekly planner page. It's really a tool for you to really indicate what matters most for you. Develop those key ideas, those key action steps that are to drive your success and indicate what connections, opportunities, and self-improvement tasks are on your plate. From here, jump in, into those daily planner pages and put it all out there and define your focus and what matters most to you each and every day as you plan for your success. The daily pages are designed to keep you focused on action steps that will drive your success. Unlocking the key to your success starts each day with determining where you'll dedicate your most attention. This is commonly a project, developing a habit, building a relationship, or simply self-improvement. The next key is to indicate the three most important assignments that will drive home your goals. We call these the three keys. The daily pages provide you with a task list, a timeline of your day, a note section, important calls, and opportunities in front of you. We will uncover how to use this, so make sure to subscribe to our page and hit that like button and subscribe to our channel because throughout the year, we're going to dive into every one of these elements to learn a little bit more. As I'm introducing you to my planner that I put together, one of the big things that I've been talking about is goals. And what planner would not have goals to help you drive your success? That is one of the key things behind this planner. We have a goal page as well as other bonus pages that will be included in the planner and you can take a look at those online as well. But I want to explain the goal page to you a little bit so you understand why this planner is really tailored the way it is and what makes it stand out above the rest. We started the goal planner page in 2019 and in 2020 we're going to expand it. So let's talk about the 2020 goal planner pages and tell you why we think this is a great tool for you to use in your daily planning. The planner page starts out with a goal summary. This is a space where you can indicate what your blueprint is and summarize what your goal is and you have in mind, as well as classify if it is a self, relationship, career, or community goal. Every goal has to have some type of motivational milestone. Otherwise, you wouldn't have this goal to begin with in the first place. And right here on the top of the page, we want you to indicate what is your motivation? What is the reason for this goal? Next is brainstorming. You know, we have ideas on goals. We have things that we want to reach for. But sometimes the best way to get started on those is brainstorm all the different thoughts and ideas that are on your mind. And this space really helps you wire map that out so you can get started on your goals. From there, you determine what is your key action steps. These are the outline of steps that you need to accomplish to reach your goals. Now I find a lot of times as I'm doing goal planning, I have a real big picture idea 
And what happens is I'm breaking that goal down. I find there's many segments or many milestones that I have to reach. And those segments and milestones become their own goal planner page in themselves. And that's okay. It's how we move forward and how we help develop those goals that we're looking for. With every single goal in mind though, there has to be some type of reward. Maybe that reward is making the next step forward in your plans or simply completing the task at hand. And we want you to take a few moments and recognize what the reward is of doing that. Between that and the motivation of your goal, you're more likely to find self-discipline as you move yourself forward to reach the goals through the Key to Your Success Planner. So that is the key to success planner that I developed. This planner I developed over the last number of years as I struggled trying to find a digital planner. This planner is made available for OneNote and will be available as a PDF notation. So there'll be many different apps that you'll be able to use it on. I've been building this planner for a couple years, trying to find a solution that would work best for me. And I feel I have something that'll work for all of you. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe to our page, if it's something you want to continue to follow me with because throughout the year I'm going to give you ideas and feedback and different ways to use the planner to make the most of it. Also we have many other exciting pages in the planner. We have a meetings page, a project page, a note page, and other additional pages will be available. So go ahead, check out the description link and go ahead and check out our website and subscribe to our newsletter because we'll be putting that stuff out as much as possible. Thank you for joining me and being with me and I hope you continue on this journey with us by purchasing the planner and as we move forward to find the key things in life that are going to make us successful together. Go ahead, if you like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button, like our page and guys stay tuned because I'll have more for you in time to come. Thanks again for watching.